Attack on Crystal Palace comes to life for the Reds as Glasner lines up replacement signing. Fabrizio Romano confirms Liverpool rejected Chelsea's approach for star forward last year. Salah transfer saga kicks off as Liverpool winger vows fire after relationship with Klopp implodes. Hello fellow supporter, come check out the latest Liverpool news. Let's go to the video. The Crystal Palace is making moves behind the scenes in the transfer market, aiming to secure a Bundesliga player as a potential replacement for Mark Guehi. Recently, reports have emerged that Guehi's representatives have been in contact with Liverpool, suggesting a possible move to Anfield this summer. Guehi, a talented 23-year-old defender, has been a key figure since swapping Chelsea for Crystal Palace in a deal worth £18 million almost three years ago. His solid partnership with Joachim Anderson in midfield and consistent performances have made him a regular for Gareth Southgate's England squad. With the imminent transition in managerial leadership at Liverpool, with Arna Slot replacing Jurgen Klopp, and the expected departure of players like Joel Matip and Thiago Alcantara from the club, the Reds are seeking reinforcements. Liverpool's interest in Guehi was revealed in March when the club made initial offers for the defender. Alongside Liverpool, other Premier League giants like Arsenal, Tottenham and Chelsea have also expressed admiration for Guehi's talent. However, Crystal Palace is aware of Guehi's value and has set an initial price of around £50 million for the player. If Guehi leaves Selhurst Park this summer, Chelsea will be entitled to a share of the profits through a sell-on clause in his contract. The exact percentage of this clause is still unclear, with reports suggesting figures between 20% and 25%. Faced with the possibility of losing Guehi, Crystal Palace is preparing for a potential departure and is already exploring replacement options. According to reports from The Telegraph, manager Oliver Glasner is interested in Maxence Lacroix from Wolfsburg as a possible replacement. If Palace proceeds with Lacroix's signing, it would be a strong indication that Guehi is indeed leaving the club. Thus, Liverpool continues its search for a replacement for Matip, expected to be one of the biggest free agent signings in Premier League history. My fellow supporter, are you in favour of Mark Guehi's signing? Recent reports indicate that Chelsea was interested in Liverpool's forward, Darwin Nunez, last summer. But their attempt was thwarted due to Jurgen Klopp's reluctance to part ways with the former Benfica star. Fabrizio Romano clarified this development, revealing Chelsea's interest in Nunez during a conversation with Give Me Sport. What I would like to mention is that Chelsea, in the final weeks of last summer's transfer window, while searching for a forward, really tried to bring in Darwin Nunez. What I heard is that Jurgen Klopp said no to this move and really wanted to keep a player crucial for Liverpool's present and future, but Chelsea was very interested in Darwin Nunez. Nunez may not be clinical, but he's a formidable and difficult to contain forward. Given Jackson's lack of effectiveness, we cannot deny that Nunez's arrival could have been an improvement. It's understandable that Chelsea fans might be concerned about the possible arrival of Darwin Nunez, especially considering Nicholas Jackson's struggles to score consistently. Adding another forward with a similar track record could indeed exacerbate the team's scoring problems. Given Nunez's perceived deficiencies in finishing and the risk of replicating Jackson's disappointing performances, it's clear that Chelsea will need to adopt a different approach in their recruitment process for the next season. Finding a forward who not only has a killer instinct, but also complements the team's playing style and has a strong presence in the area will be crucial for the progress of the Blues. Tony's arrival could inject a new level of power into Chelsea's attacking line and help strengthen their pursuit of success next season. Nunez may have more potential, but Tony has demonstrated a more consistent performance. To maintain any serious hope of overtaking Arsenal and Manchester City, Liverpool needed to defeat West Ham on Saturday afternoon. As usual, the Reds fell behind before rallying to take a 2-1 lead. However, Liverpool couldn't hold on to the advantage, and thanks to Michael Antonio, the Hammers equalized in the dying moments of the second half. With two more points dropped, Liverpool's chances of clinching the title virtually disappeared. Salah was named alongside Darwin Nunez on the substitute's bench for the match. Both had faced harsh criticism in recent weeks for their poor finishing. Jamie Carragher, a Reds legend, even suggested that Liverpool could and perhaps should sell both forwards to start Arne Slot's era from scratch. Salah and Nunez were brought on from the bench with about 10 minutes left in regular time. Liverpool still held the lead at the time, although Antonio had headed the equaliser before the substitutions were made. 
Cameras from TNT Sports captured a confrontation between Klopp and Salah on the sidelines before the winger entered the game. While Salah awaited a break in play to be substituted, Klopp approached him and had a conversation with the Egyptian. Salah clearly didn't like Klopp's words, and the two engaged in a heated argument that resulted in Nunez ushering Salah off the field. When asked about the incident after the match, Klopp tried to downplay concerns about a fractured relationship. Asked if he would reveal what was said, Klopp replied, No, but we've already talked in the dressing room. For me, it's done. Asked if Salah also thought the matter was resolved, he added, That was my impression, yes. However, Salah seemed to have a different view of the events regarding his agent and was later seen walking through the mixed zone after the game, where he refused to stop for an interview. Passing by the gathered journalists, Salah declared, There will be fire today if I speak. When a journalist responded, Fire? Salah replied, Of course. Salah will turn 32 this summer, and his current contract with the Reds has only one year remaining. Liverpool rejected a £150 million offer from Al Ittihad last summer, but the interest persists. If Salah doesn't renew, a sale this summer could be sensible, despite yielding less than what was offered before. At 32 years old with one year left on his contract, £70 million would still represent a good deal. Sadio Mane's departure suggests that Liverpool may be ready to part ways with Salah next summer. Thank you very much for watching until here. Until next time.